We are continuing the holiday sew along with a tutorial to make these cute little kefa bracelets. This is a great one to bust through your fabric scraps and a perfect last minute Christmas gift. Welcome to the sewing report. I'm Jen and this channel is all about making sewing and crafts fun and approachable. Quick note, many of the supplies featured in this video can be found in the sewing report Etsy shop, including some of the fabric. Got scraps? Yeah, I think we all do. And here's your chance to use them. They just need to be about 4 inches wide and 10 to 14 inches long. I'll be featuring mostly holiday prints and a floral canvas. You'll also need lightweight interfacing like Pellon Shape Flex 101. 1 inch key fob hardware, I've seen these everywhere but got mine from Jewelbox Supply in gold and silver. The inside has tiny teeth to grip onto your material. This tool is optional but I did find it useful. Heavy duty key fob pliers. It has rubber tips to protect the metal from getting scratched up. We'll be sewing on the Brothers CS7000i, an entry-level sewing machine I've been using for about two years now. If you're new to sewing, I recommend you check out my Learn to Sew series going over the basics. I tested out a few different sizes, but the one I ended up preferring is the 12-inch long version, so that's what I'll be demonstrating. First, I used a clear quilting ruler and rotary cutter to cut out the interfacing. This piece measures 1 and 3 quarter inches or 1.75 by 12 inches. Then take fabric of your choosing and cut it to 3 and a half inches by 12 inches. If you're making one, you might as well make a few at once and do it assembly line style. With the fabric's wrong side face up, lay down the interfacing with the glue side down. You should be able to feel a little plasticky texture, that's the glue. Try to center it as much as you can, but it doesn't have to be exact. Holding it in place, flip them over so the fabric is right side up. To quickly fuse the interfacing, I spritz water on the fabric, then press with an iron on the cotton setting for about 10 seconds on each section. What you're gonna do is use the edges of the interfacing as your guide for folding the fabric in toward the center and pressing again. Now fold that in half, lining up the long edges so they're even and flush with each other. Press well. Here's my little tip for securing without pins. I run a line of Elmer's washable school glue in a fine tip bottle and press with a dry iron. Now you can sew without worrying about the fabric shifting around. We're ready to head to the sewing machine. We'll mostly be edge stitching. Here are my settings, stitch length 3.0 with needle position at 6.5. I usually keep my walking foot on for most projects and use the inner metal guide on the right to line up the edge of the fabric. What you'll want to do is stitch up and down both long sides, then a third line right in the middle. To do the center line, I found that if I sewed three stitches in from the side, it was right around the middle point. I also lined up the stitches on the left with the inner metal guide. If you're making multiples, you can daisy chain each piece to speed things up. This one's a gorgeous floral canvas print by Rifle Paper Co. We're almost done. I trimmed the ends with my fabric scissors so they were nice and neat. And I dabbed some fray check on the raw edges to help prevent fraying.
There was a bit of trial and error with installing the hardware, so I'm going to share this with you. With the first one, I tried to hold the ends together while also inserting them into the key fob hardware. Didn't work well. Then with the pliers, I pressed different sections until both sides laid flat. While this did work, it wasn't the easiest thing to do and I wanted to simplify the process. The split ring kept getting in the way of the pliers, so for the rest of the key fobs, I removed it, then put it back on after the hardware was already in place. Another thing I'd recommend is to apply some type of quick setting glue to hold the fabric ends together. I had Gorilla Super Glue Gel on hand and that worked fine. Because the plier tips are slightly curved, I alternated sides so the metal hardware didn't end up curved in one direction. The metal teeth on the back will catch onto the fabric and it does seem pretty secure. Here are my finished key fobs. I made six of them within a couple hours and I also had to film the process too. I love that you can use up fabric scraps with this project. It's easy and straightforward. This is a handmade gift you can literally make with only a few hours until you need it. Thank you all for watching and supporting me throughout this year. You can check out my other holiday sew along videos right here on the channel and stay tuned for more. So come join me for some Christmas cheer and let's get sewing. I'm Jen with The Sewing Report and remember, whatever you're doing, make it fun.